for men that spat on him Jesus died for. For you, for me, who could care less about Jesus Christ. He died for us because we all have sin. And we know that God exists. And when we hear the truth, we know it's true. We know the truth. We just have a choice to receive it or reject it. What will you do with the truth of Jesus Christ that you know to be true? You know that God exists. Will you receive Jesus Christ as your Savior? Or will you remain in your sin and in your unreasoning? Rejecting the God of reason. Because without God, you couldn't know anything. You see, God came to save you from your sins oh, yeah. and from your reason. That's see, God loves your soul. Yeah. He might have died for your soul. Yeah. What will you do with Jesus Christ? What will you do with Jesus? He is the Savior of sinners. There is no other Savior. There is no other way to God. I can't save you. Buddha can't save you. Muhammad can't save you. Your baptism does not take you to heaven. Being a good person does not take away your sin. God gave Jesus Christ so he could be a payment for our sins because in him is no sin. He never sinned. And only one without sin could die for the sins of others. That's Jesus Christ. Greater love hath no man than this, but that a man lay down his life for his friends. And Jesus Christ didn't just lay down his life for people that liked him. He died for the men that needed him. And that's the great love of God. Hereby perceive we the love of God. And he laid down his life for us. God laid down his life for you. That's the great love of God. That he himself would come and die for, for man, for sinful men. That he gave a free will to choose to sin or not to sin. And we choose sin. Over God every time we choose sin. And God came and died for men that choose sin over him. So that they could be saved from the sin that destroys them. What will you do with the life of Jesus Christ? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus is the only way to God. You're not going to get to God any other way. You're not going to get to God. I'm not going to get to God just because I got wet in a baptistry. I'm not going to get to God. No one's going to get to God because they did a bunch of good things and they helped their neighbor. The only way anybody is going to get to God is through the blood of Jesus Christ. How that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures you know what i can't understand is people say well i go to heaven just because god loves me well yeah god loves you but that doesn't mean you're going to heaven because god loves everybody and everybody's not going to heaven and if god loves you god's always loved you but jesus christ had to bleed and die because god's love for you doesn't just save you he had to display his love and and enact his love through the cross of Christ, so that therefore the price, the payment for sin, could be paid through Jesus Christ, through his death on the cross. What will you do with Jesus? That's the good news of Christ, the gospel of Christ. It is the power of God for the salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Anybody of any race, any religion, any background can be saved by believing in the gospel of Jesus Christ, how Christ died for you, was buried and arose again for your sins. Jesus Christ died for your sins on the cross. Anybody and everybody can be saved through that gospel. And it's not by how much money you have, how much money you give, uh, how many times you've been to church, how much, how much you pray. It's only through you trusting in what Jesus Christ did for you on the cross. He died for you. You have a choice to make Will you receive the payment made by Christ or will you remain in your sins and reject the only Savior, the only way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The news this no evening. Man, no man can be possible by Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name but another, given among men whereby we must be saved. Amen. So people know that God exists. That's not an argument. But the question is, what are you doing with the knowledge that you have of the God that exists? Are you receiving more truth from that God? Or are you holding the truth and the righteousness? Because you don't want the truth. Because he that hated the truth, he doesn't come to it. He goes away. He runs away from it. Do you want to know truth from God? You already know that God exists. But if the question is, the God that you know exists, only worship that God, that's the question. We worship that God. We serve that God. We trust in Jesus.
Jesus Christ in your seat. Because whether or not God, you know for certain that God exists, you still wouldn't worship Him. In a heart that rejects God. Because that when they knew God, they glorified Him not as God, neither were thankful, the Bible said. The Bible said that you knew God, I knew God, but when we, when we reject the God of the Bible, it's because we aren't giving Him thanks. We're not giving Him the glory. We become, we become vain in our imaginations and our foolish hearts are darkened when we reject the God that we know exists. And that God that you know exists, He came to this earth and died for your soul so your soul can be saved from sin and from invalid reasoning, friend. You need to trust in Jesus Christ, the God that gave you the ability to use logic and reasoning. How do you reason out of that position? You can't. Without God, you can't have reason. So you need to use your reasoning have and realize the only logical conclusion is to trust the only God that everybody knows exists and receive Him, Jesus Christ, the one who died for your sins, as your Savior. He is the only Savior of sinners. No one else ever was without sin, and no one else ever died in the place of sinful men but Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Amen. What Amen. will you do with Jesus? That's right. What will you do? Neutral, you cannot be. Someday your heart will be asking. What will he do with me? Friend, right. all of us have sin. I've sinned, you've sinned. But Jesus Christ so loved your soul, so loved my soul, that he came and died on the cross to pay for our sins. In him is no sin. What will you do with Jesus? What will you do with Jesus? Amen. Thank you, Brother Dean. Praise the Lord for you, Brother. All right. You preaching?